G'day guys, Dave's Dinners here, doing me uh, uploads for KFC this week because they've got a new menu item on the list. It's, a, it's an oldie but a goodie that's been reinvented, sort of like when uh, the car wash came back as a hit song on that Will Smith movie about fish. I believe it was called Finding Nemo. So, uh, what we'll be doing is reviewing that KFC bucket. It's all popcorn chicken, apparently. Ooh, exciting times. And we'll be seeing if it tastes better in a bucket. Because you know how when you taste Coke and it tastes a bit better out of a can? Maybe the same thing applies to chicken. I don't know. Only time will tell. Cheers for watching, guys. Make sure you press like, all that good stuff. What's the other stuff you can do again? You should um, write something nice to me. All right, cheers, go. Okay, diners, so we're approaching KFC now, and oh, where are me manners? Forgot to do a couple of shout outs that I owe to people. See, if you write a nice comment to me, I will reply to you. All right, so the first shout out goes to Brian who invited me for a Sunday roast that his missus was making, and honestly, I wish I could review that roast. It was top stuff, Brian. Tell your missus she did a bang-up job. It's beautiful. and still taste it on me fingers now. Yep, that tastes like Gravox. And uh, who else have I got a shout-out? Oh, the man, the legend, Taz Daz. Look at him, absolute titan in the review game. That guy is seriously going gangbusters. 2,000 people, that's almost as big as a satellite town around parks. And he has those 2,000 subs from doing some tops reviews on stuff like bursties from Hungry Jacks. I reviewed bursties, but <laughs> no one cares as much as they do when Taz does. It's the magic of him. He's, he's really, he knows what he's doing, that one, because he, he took out all the liquid and then just showed you how many bursties you were getting. And might I just be the first to say, decent size. Uh, you don't feel like you're getting ripped off at all when you see how many bursties there are at the end of it. You think, oh, there's more bursties than liquid in this. How are they making money on that? And he was the one that exposed that. Well, exposed is probably too harsh of a word, but he, he showed everybody how many there are in there. So there's a reason that he's at the top of the game. And it's because he knows what he's doing, not like this uh, amateur show here, you know? But uh, no, seriously, thank you for subscribing, those that do. And we, we're getting there, we're getting to that 2,047 subs. Hope that maybe Taz Jazz can give me a shout out in return. Just a bit of a karma payback. And then hopefully we can crack that magic hundred because that would be, whew, that would be pretty spicy, wouldn't it? Spicier than KFC's KFC spicy box. And that's very spicy. I remember tasting that and thinking, oh, geez, this is a bit worse than uh, some of that stag chili stuff that I have. Oh, what's going on there? Jesus. People will think that I just uh, was in involved in a bloody earthquake or something. But no, I'm all right, guys, I'm fine. Thanks for asking in advance. You're all legends. Oh, can't wait to have this KFC for lunch. It'll be almost as good as Brian's Mrs. Roast. Okay. We are at the Colonel. How good's that? Did you know we were going to the Colonel? Yeah, you probably did, didn't you? Just in case you didn't, I better put the windows up and put the AC on here. It's a bloody hot house. Jesus. Hey there, can I get the uh, popcorn chicken bucket? Yep. Some large chips. Large chips, yep. Alright, I can't say no to that. That is bloody good value. Yes, I'll get two of them, thank you. And uh, one Mountain Dew. Large. Large Mountain Dew, thanks. That's the one. Nah, that's all for today. Cheers, love. Doing a bang up job. Mountain Dew, yes, not Pepsi. Thank you. No thanks, love. That's all good. 
Wasn't accepted. Oh no, that's embarrassing. I hope I've got the money on there. Um, not, going not going through. All right, is cash okay? Have a nice day. Cheers so much. You too. Two Roo. Jesus, why did me card work? And my dad payment's going through on the 15th now. Cheryl said it'd be fine to get it on the 20th. This is why we got divorced in the first place. Honestly, Cheryl can stick it up her ass. I'm going to call the lawyer about this. And, uh, Morgan and Sons above that kebab shop in town. Might even get one of those kebabs and review it, eh? Turn lemons into lemonade. Thank you. Oh, that's big, isn't it? Yep. No worries, you too. Don't you close the door on me? I just wish her a good afternoon. Jesus, some people. All right, let's go into the car park and uh, get busy. <laughs> Beautiful. Look at that. Gorgeous view. Sydney at its finest. It's putting on a show for us today, isn't it, diners? Okay, let's take out this bad boy and, oh, Jesus, it's heavy. Oh, lucky I do some curls. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to lift up this beast. Look at that. They weren't lying. It is all popcorn chicken. Let me just have a bit of a dig around there and... Yep, all the way down. Popcorn chicken as far as the eye can see. You jealous, Brian? <laughs> nah, you've got those roast leftovers. That's pretty nice. See? Look at that. If you've never seen a popcorn chicken piece before, this is what it looks like. It is a very small, crispy strip, I suppose. It's probably made out of the same batter, but I'm not actually sure about that. You open it up and genuine chicken. So for all of those haters out there that say that Ing Ingham's is just selling them beaks or whatever, no beaks in that. That's pure breast. I'm just going to have a taste now. Sorry, my man is, I should be describing all of this stuff to you as a professional food reviewer. I can't just put it in my mouth like I normally do. So tempting though, isn't it? <laughs> Again, I, I can't. Such a decent... Oh! All the popcorn chicken fell all over me. It doesn't even matter, though, because there's so many pieces. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll be going through this for a week. Just one more time. See? They're not lying. This is a bucket of popcorn chicken. Nice to see that some people don't false advertise these days, unlike those bastards at ticket to go go Tell you what, Ray Hadley's been giving them a serving recently. Not that they don't deserve it. Ripping people off. Dave's Dinners is not about that. Dave's Dinners is all about value, and that's why I love this bucket. Okay, let's have a taste. Mmm, tastes like chicken. <laughs> it is exactly how I remember popcorn chicken tasting. There just seems to be a larger quantity of it. And a very decent size as well, very heavy size. That's always the mark of a really whiz-bang review at the very beginning. You always know that it's going to be great if it's heavy. Doesn't matter about food, doesn't matter about quality, all that matters is the weight. And this one is a bloody ripper. All right, if I were to give this a review out of 10 truck stop diners, and I will, thank you very much, that's my right, this is my channel, I can do what I want with it, all right? I saw a very negative comment the other day saying they don't like truck stop diners as a review. Well, to them I say, start your own channel, hey? Eh? How about that? Keep watching mine, and I'll probably give you a like if you start it as well, because it takes a lot of courage to do this. Uh, I give it 10 truck stop diners out of 10. This is the best meal I've ever had in my life, bar Brian's wife's roast. Nah, actually, you know what, to be honest, Brian, don't show this to your missus, this is better. <laughs> That's why it gets a 10. All right, diners, well, I've had a lot of fun, hope you have too. Make sure you press the like button. Uh, what's it called again? Positive message? Comment, that's the one. Write a comment, do all that good stuff on the socials and maybe give Taz Daz a shout out as well while you're at it. We've all got to support each other in this. We're this generation's Anzacs, trying out popcorn chicken in larger quantities than is usual. See you next time, diners.